Hi everyone, I'm very happy to see you here. Well, let's start. Once I was at the lecture and my smartphone sparked with a push notification of my friend's birthday. I was sitting right in front of the lecture, so typing something long was quite inconvenient. And I thought, oh my god, if only my smartphone assistant could automatically type something sweet and heart melting, then it crossed my mind that such an assistance could be a mixed blessing. Imagine that one day Alisa from Yandex decides that you're not that ill and cancels a doctor's appointment. Or imagine Siri calls your friend, talks in your own voice, and cancels your meeting thinking that it's raining outside and you better stay at home. Still not frightened? Then catch my favorite example. Imagine that you are drunk. <coughs> Completely drunk. Okay, three sheets to the wind. And Siri decides, hell, it's the right time, and texts your ex. <laughs> Hello, what's up, how are you doing? And something like that. Well, it all might seem funny, but let's recall one of the most um, famous TV series of our times, Black Mirror, and particularly a um, White Christmas episode, where one of the core characters invents these cookies of people, uh, digital clones inserted in our bodies uh, as personal assistants. Well, it all sounds uh, frightening, fascinating, and vague, but Black Mirror is not the topic I'm going to talk about. If you have heard about Dan Brown, if you have read his books or watched uh, movies based on them, please give me a distant hand five. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, he is one of my favorite writers and a head thinkers. Um, and uh, in his previous books, in his previous novels, uh, his uh, core character, uh, Robert Langton, was unrevealing some verified truths from Renaissance period and ancient times in Angel and Demons, Da Vinci Code, The Last Symbol, and Inferno. But his uh, last novel, Origin, takes a new direction, focusing on science, technology, and religion. And uh, one of the uh, main characters uh, addresses these two questions, where do we come from and where are we going? So the questions of our origin and our future. Now I'd like you to switch on your imagination again. Uh, let's imagine that uh, from my side, uh, the left wing uh, are the representatives of various religions and the right wing are scientists. And if I ask these two questions to these two groups, then all it's left for me to do is to grab a popcorn, count to three, and say, fight. <laughs> fight, my darlings, because these two questions have always been at heart of uh, the disputes between these uh, two groups, uh, between representatives of re uh, religions and scientists. However, Dan Brown suggests that religion and science are not competitors. They are two languages uh, telling the same story, and sometimes to see someone else's truth, you just have to shift your perspective and nothing else. Uh, but why am I talking about this? Uh, you know, um, you must have that uh, best friend or someone whom you know quite well uh, that you think, well, okay, I know him like back of my hand, and suddenly he gives out something unexpected. So is artificial intelligence. Whereas religion and science fight over superiority, fight over the questions of our origin and future, artificial intelligence penetrates deeper and deeper and deeper into our lives. Uh, and uh, the attitude towards artificial intelligence is ambiguous. Uh, for some, uh, it is uh, an absolute evil. For others, it represents a plenty of opportunities. Well, I must say right away that I belong to the second group. Uh, and uh, now I'd like to recall another good author, Mark Manson. He says that our life becomes easier if we uh, choose to place uh, phenomena in certain value frame. So it all comes down to our choice. If we choose our uh, value frames, 
if we set clearly the taboos and red lines <coughs> for artificial intelligence, then anything else, um, ethics, damage to our relationships, uh, some other risks, become uh, something uh, less important and less scary because we clearly know where is this red line, uh, where are permissible limits, and we just live happily and make our life more interesting and more uh, easy uh, with the help of artificial intelligence. And to sum up my speech, I'd like to recall um, Prayer for the Future, written by Dan Brown. It says, may our philosophers keep pace with our technologies. May our compassion keep pace with our progress. And may love, not fear, be the engine of change. Thank you very much.